Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a simple way to set up an anchor for sport climbing or single pitch climbing that's very simple to take down so the person taking down the anchor doesn't have to have special skills or tutorial in cleaning. So as the leader, I'm arriving at the anchor and I'm going to attach myself. I've pre-attached a tether. In this case, I'm using a personal anchor system, which I find really helpful. This one's by Black Diamond. And I'm gonna clip myself into the anchor on one of the legs, okay? This is nice because there's a master beaner there or a master point. I could have clipped directly into that, but the system I'm gonna show will work in anchors that don't have this master point. Okay, so being into one bolt is usually good enough if you've examined it, but it's not a good idea if you continuously rely on one bolt because it could catch up to you one of these days, especially if you climb routes that aren't often checked where bolts aren't often replaced. So I'm ever always gonna go into two sides of the anchor whenever possible. So take a quick draw, put that in, and then clip that into any of the rungs on my personal anchor. And now you can see I've built my own personal anchor, or excuse me, my own equalized anchor by just simply clipping a quick draw, All right? The next thing I'm gonna do is pull up my rope and clove hitch it off, okay? Clip that in, lock it down, okay? And now I can untie. I'm secured here, the rope is secured. I'm still on belay from the bottom. I haven't set off belay at all. locate the rappel point for the anchor. So in this anchor, it's quite interesting. There is a single rappel point here. Oftentimes you'll have the two chain links at the bottom, or sometimes you'll have two rings. That would be the rappel point. And I'm gonna set the rope up through that rappel point, and I'm gonna tie back into the other end. Now I'm not going to end up climbing or top roping with the rope rubbing through that because over time, sand and grit in your rope, top roping back and through, forth through that, lowering, uh, will wear out the permanent equipment that's been left on the route and paid for and maintained by someone else. And we wanna preserve that for future generations of climbers to use with minimal maintenance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a locking carabiner, find any point in the climbing system that's solid, and will not result in pinching of this locking carabiner where it can pass through easily. Usually that would be the quick links that are right at the top or sometimes the bolt that is at the top of the anchor. Okay, I'm gonna clip that carabiner in and now simply raise that rope up, okay? And clip it through and lock it down, okay? At that point, this will now be my anchor. I'm using this single locking carabiner through this bolt, backed up with an equalized anchor down here. So this bolt ripped out, this would fall a bit and then come onto this bolt, okay? So it's not an equalized anchor, but it is an anchor with redundancy, which is very important, okay? Now I'm gonna take myself off as after I confirm that my partner is still on belay. David, you still on belay? Okay, David is still on belay. Take this out, take this out. After every part of my personal anchor has been removed, then I can ask David to take. So David, take. Okay, so David takes me tight there. And as you can see, when I lower, I'll be lowering on this carabiner here. Okay, just like that. And when it's time to clean the anchor, the next person arriving at the anchor would be arriving in my position right here. Climbing up and all that person needs to do to clean this anchor and be set up to lower is unclip this carabiner, put this on their harness. David, ready to lower. And then you can lower them down. 